Yeah. Thanks. You are welcome. We love you, Howard. Thank you, Marwan. So crazy, Cabby is stalking me. I'm, I'm like every minute on my phone answering message. It's like this is Cabby. Call me. This is Cabby. I need to talk to you. This is it starts on the weekends. As soon as Friday gets here. Yeah, it starts on the weekends, and then all and it's like oh, I go man, this guy's stalking me. Call me you with updates. Because the other no, I don't. I had a no, but you had no update. He had a thing going on with management here. Yeah. And I said, hey, you know, give me a call. Let me know what happens. He let me know during the week that everything was worked out. Now he's calling me every minute to say again that everything's worked out. How many times am I going to hear this? It's an excuse to talk to you. Oh, my God. You never called me back. I called you, like, you know, I called you and you never called me yeah, back. Yeah, so like, what are you worried about? I called you the next day. Look, you he called, broke you up. Saw, I thought you wanted an update. He broke was, up with his girlfriend to be with you. I know. Oh, and now you're geez. not taking his call. All right, so listen to this. So this guy, <clears throat> he's calling me and calling me and calling me. <laughs> it turns out he's got a good story. Friday night, or oh, was it Thursday night? No, it was Friday. It night. was Friday night. Friday yes. night, this this guy, Crazy Cabby, yeah. goes to a concert. Where was the concert? It was at Arlene's Grocery. It was a friend's band. All right, yeah. Jam Yang, they're called. Yeah, he goes out to see some band. Kane's, Kane's roommates' band. Right. Okay. They're Kane's really good, roommate. actually. All right. So, anyway, he goes out there and he's sitting around, and there's some nice-looking chick there. She's with a guy. Mm -hmm. A toad. She's been see Please. She's seen this guy for like a year. Okay? Well, she's not seen so, him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I'll tell the story. All right. Yes, yes. She's seen this guy for like a year. So Cabby starts talking to her. Right? And like the, the boyfriend's getting a little steam. But all right, listen. She's making conversation. <laughs> boyfriend goes up to go. Um, the boyfriend goes up to go to the bathroom or something. Cabby starts talking to the chick. The chick's kind of like, ah, you know, I'm not digging this guy that much, blah, 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 blah. He says, come with me. So he gets up with the guy's girlfriend. And leaves while he's at the bathroom. And the guy comes back, and he's like, hey, man, where are you going? He goes, hey, she doesn't want to be with you. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. No. Oh, you so are so sad. You are That's not what happened. You are scum. He, see, listen, it wasn't the guy's girlfriend, number one. They were friends, and he wanted to be her boyfriend. And she told him, like, a week ago, Look, we're never going to be anything more than friends. He was. Did they they ever have sex? No, uh, no. They no. were. They were totally. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you tell me. You took the the the. the I rescued her. Yeah. He uh, was like he was like angry because she was talking to me. Yeah. And uh, he had tried to hold her hand like a week ago. She said, "Look, dude, it's not happening. We're never ever going to be anything but friends. And if you want to be friends, we can go and hang out." Well, when she started talking to me, he got all mad and ruffled feathers that she was talking to me and we were kind of touchy feely yeah you know i got moves so i brought a bunch of people out to dinner saturday night yeah. so i invited him and a new girlfriend because already oh, family, a girlfriend, yeah, a it's a whole big romance going on between <laughs> cabbie and this, uh, this broad Jeez. so i said i said i gotta he's, he's telling me how hot she is so i gotta meet her i want to see what he's doing right you know what? he's got my curiosity he already came up to me this morning go hey uh about your party could i bring somebody is, is oh, yeah, he's already married yeah, again yeah. <laughs> Please. He doesn't even know who this is. No, he's totally into her. He's she's hot. She's nice. We had, we hot talked hot. all weekend. Yeah, because he goes, yeah, she's cute. He said, so he says she's real hot. So he says, see, oh god. Yeah. So he says, listen to this. See, <laughs> see, John. John says I can't get any woman. No, he claims uh, every girl he dates is hot. Uh, is she not hot? No, she's hot. She's really cute. She's very hot. Yeah. So, so anyway, off. yeah. So anyway, he says to me, uh, he goes, I really like this girl. I took her out of the club. I stole her away from the boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I took her for a walk for like an hour, so we really got to know each other. Oh, yeah, so now they know uh, each other. And then we went out to a late dinner, and I sent her home safely in a car instead of with this guy. Yeah, well, he was a, he yeah was. it would have been real tacky to take her back to the guy. No, it wasn't home. just me who thought this guy was way out of line. It was like everybody <laughs> in line. Everybody was at the bar. He was like... He was just, his actions were weird. Like, he was obviously out of line. Well, whatever. He doesn't, you know what? You stole the guy's squeeze. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, so, anyway, so, so he calls me and he's finally telling me about this chick, this chick, this chick. I said, all right, listen, I'm taking a group of people out to dinner. Bring her by so I can look her over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what you're doing. So he brought her by and you should see him, man. He's like, he's like real well behaved around her. Oh, like it's a different guy? Yeah, it's like a different cabbie. You know? She's a beautiful he, woman. He's like charming. You've got you've got to wow him, you know. You can't just. I mean, you gotta. 
put on airs. He's, he's very say. he's very charming when he's around her. Really? Yeah, he's like like a Cary Grant. <laughs> that's why hot chicks dig me, John, because I got yeah, mad yeah. skills. Have you had sex with yet? What's no. He wearing? He's not wearing one of his matching outfits. What he was wearing was unbelievable. The chick is all decked out. He's wearing a pair of like grunge shorts. <laughs> no, they're military they were... military boots with the tattoos sticking out all over his legs. Please. And a Hawaiian shirt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you had to see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. I, I, can't, I can't believe this other dude dressed for the date. Uh, <laughs> dude, were you wearing shorts and military boots? Or I had on nice, very nice dress, linen shorts. <laughs> I had on my uh, my tan leather Donna Karen slip-on dress shoes, and I had a tan shirt that matched. There was like a Hawaiian shirt. Some faces on it. No, it wasn't a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> you should have seen him. It was a really cool shirt that my buddy gave me. How old is this girl? Um, she's uh, six months older than me. Really? Yeah. How old are you? 31. Right. She's beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. Am I right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. She's she's cute. She's really cute. See, John? Good for you. Say it. I am wrong. Say it, John. You are wrong. Let me make, i got to see you first. All right. She's got to have some problem. I'll bring her to the big party. <laughs> she's got to have some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's she's, she's, she's mm. right now. Yeah, well, I didn't get to talk to her much. There's a lot of people. Big the crowd of people. Of people. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really get to. Lawrence, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, bro? Right. Listen, I was listening to this guy, Cabby, last week. Yeah. You know what he was saying? What? He said he, when I when I have my knife, he sticks in girls in their faces, and he likes to lick their eggs out. When the eggs come out, he just he eats them. Did you say that on the air that you like to cut out girls' eggs and eat them? <laughs> no. Get out of here, Lawrence. Nuts. No, 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 listen to me. Hello? Yeah. He takes the egg. He said something about you. He doesn't like you. He's like, because something about you last week, you're, the crazy kid was saying, Howard Stern got me busted off the air. And then he gets into this rave about, I take my knife, my thick, like, steel knife, and I stick it inside the girl's, you know, her. Oh. A, a, you said that? A wet plate? No, I, I have no idea what this man is talking about. It sounds like a good shot of, like, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a pretty good disturbing <laughs> thought. <laughs> Right. You guys got problems. <laughs> I don't even have a knife. Jack, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, I tried for Captain Manhattan and I saw you. This what? Is... When? Uh, Saturday night. This is the White Rapper. Oh, yeah, I know. Get out of here, you stupid. Uh, Pretending to be a cabbie? You didn't have a cab. Stupid, I didn't have a cab Saturday night. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I take you to spa. Yeah. No, that was Thursday night, stupid. See, you can't even get the days right. All right. What is it? Can we talk about, uh, you, you, so he was having some problems. They're all worked out now? Yes. Well, they're you worked that, out. You still got that Sunday night show? No. Yeah, he lost the Sunday night show. Yeah, he I lost was wondering why you were here this morning. Well, I, I, he screwed up. I did screw up. You know what? I did screw up, and, and I got everything I deserved. This guy, he, they gave him a Sunday night radio yeah, show here? nice, because we could talk to him on Monday morning. Hey, Kevin had a Sunday night overnight radio show. Easy money. What do they pay you? About two fifty uh at minimum wage? Right. More than more than I make the rest of the week. Yes. Actually, two hundred and fifty bucks he gets paid cash, you know. For that one night. For just one night's worth of spinning records. Because that's the after minimum. They threw it to him so he can make some extra money. Right. So all he has to do is walk in, about every fifty minutes go, Hey, this is K Rock and you just heard, you know, I don't know, Rush or something or whatever they play. I don't know. Pearl Jam. You know? Is it a special show or it's just a regular show? No, it's just uh, an air shift. Uh, see, on the weekend, they, give you, a, they give you a computer yeah. sheet and they list the songs you're supposed to play. Right. And all you do is you play off the computer sheet what they tell you to play, and you come on every once in a while and do a little personality. You just right. go, hey, this is the crazy cabbie. You're listening to my show. Right. He can handle I that. Some, yeah, I get some Pearl Jam. Yeah, the day. Yeah, the hey, uh, I, you know, you're coming up in the morning is Howard Stern. Whatever you got to say. Whatever dumb dish jockey crap you got to do. Right. So he gets it in his head somehow. That it's his mission to play whatever music he wants. But I, I, I didn't like he drop goes, every song and play every song that I wanted to. I just drop a few songs here. So he starts playing his own music. Well, let me just say something. He starts playing his own music, right? So then he comes on here and, he, and we're talking about it. I, I just thought, I didn't know he was really doing it. And we, I thought it was like some special heavy metal. Me too, show. me too. So it turns out he really was... Breaking the You're format. Him. Yeah, but I didn't know. <laughs> He's bragging about it to everybody, so I figured it's I like. I wasn't bragging you know about the, it. You know what the deal is with guys like him? Hmm. Have you? Uh, do you have ADD? Yes. You know, here, here's the deal. You give him a simple task, right? But it's just like they can't. Do it. Well, wait, 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 wait. wait. So, so Tom just... comes to me and says, "Tom, I'm German. He goes, this guy's nuts." <laughs> I go, "I know." He, uh, he goes, "This." He goes, 
<laughs> they took away his Sunday night show because he was playing his own record. And he almost got fired from the whole company. Wow. He, yeah. lost, he almost lost oh. everything. Right. So I, he said, I said to Tom, you know what? The guy seems to listen to me. Let me call up and see if I can make some sense. Because I like the guy. So I call. So I decide to get involved. I call him up. I go, hey, crazy cabbie. He goes, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, idiot. Call I get stupid. Oh, man. I, call, I, don't, I don't call him Lee because it's I just go cabby. Yeah, yeah I go, cabby. Right. I go, what are you doing? He goes, what do you mean? I go, let me tell you something. I'm crazy, but I was so friggin' happy in my career when they would pick the record yeah, for me. When what I did was play music. I played music. I said, what do I care? What record? I said, what did you do? He goes, well, you should see all the listeners call me up and they want to hear these songs. I go, dude, number one. The listeners who call you up, I said, there's two guys listening to you that time of the morning. <laughs> what do you care what they want to hear? Why is it your mission to help them out? And I said, and you know why no one plays that music that you're listening to? Because nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> Nobody's playing Pantera. He's like, no, these guys requested it. I go, listen to me. You've got to learn to play by some rules. Because I'm the crazy cabbie. I go, I know that. I know you're crazy. What? You're crazy fired. Yeah, crazy <laughs> oh, <no>. you're crazy <laughs> fired. <laughs> so I said, do you understand that, like, you just, the, the program director is the guy who, like, puts you on the air here. It's his whole gig. If the station doesn't get ratings, he gets fired. So he wants you to follow his format. He goes, yeah, I get it. He goes, I get it now. Yeah, I do understand now. Yeah, I, there's, I, there's a rhyme behind the reason. No. How hard it comes. You know, um, I, I talked to a psychiatrist, and he said that, when things go good in my life, for you some reason, it. I got to, like, screw it up. Right. right. So, and, and, and I don't do drugs anymore, so I guess that's way of my, my way of screwing it up. Right. It's just to, you know, take a good thing and screw it up. And I did screw up. I, so I take full responsibility. So I lost for the foreseeable future. That was the letter what, I got like from the boss. Probation? Mm -hmm. I'm just, uh, uh, all right, I got to take a break, must, Steve. But he must have gotten his ass kicked because yeah. you know, while you're talking about what he did, yeah. he's like got his hands together and his head bowed. He's like, mm, I know I did it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. I mean, I screwed up. I right. don't want to jeopardize Steve's job or Tom's job. And so I, you know, so he learned. So I called he's him like up. like a 31 year old baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I straightened him out, you know, and I, I said, listen, dude, some of this stuff you got to, I mean, like, you know, you can't be complete anarchy. <laughs> So now he's like, now he's ready to tell the line, but now he lost his show. Yeah, no reason to tell the line. Mm -hmm. No line to tell. Source of income. <laughs> yeah, the main two hundred fifty dollars a week, which he really so needs. Now what are you gonna do? Here's um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna beg for money on the subways. I see those people make a lot of money. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break. I must take a he's break. He's gonna be working at McDonald's. Coming up next is High Pitch Eric, who's lost his virginity. Oh, I don't believe that. That's, that's so wrong. Yeah, we're gonna rehearse later. Give me if I got a uh, cool way. And, 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 All right, right, we're gonna get to it. I'm trying to get you to a break. You should hear them. This is like the most important thing in their lives. Well, I know. They're I know. together, they're planning. Some other what things they should plan. Like no. You know, I heard that the other day. And it wasn't that bad. Sec, no, the second time, it was like almost so bad, it sounded good. Right. I mean, it, 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 had a sound. it really did. It had hey, a sound. If you ever get on the radio show, would you play our record? <laughs> sure. Thanks. <laughs> See, I can learn the thing. So it won't be on you. All right, we'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Gary Coleman. I don't like Howard Stern. He's rude, obnoxious, mean-spirited, and has nothing to do with the fact that he's six feet, five inches tall. Howard, you prick. The next time I see you, I'm going to give you a big hug and kiss because you're cool. Howard Stern. You're listening to a man who never spanked his kids. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to spank you. Because he was too busy spanking his